Tournament poker deals aren't something that come up often, but when they do, their effect on your bottom line is massive. The high variance of poker tournaments understandably causes some players to seek insurance once it's down to about 4 players, but many players get the worst of it when they're uninformed. There are two commonly used deal-making methods, chip chops and ICM chops. Chip chops divide the price pool by the remaining chip stacks, giving each chip the exact same monetary value. This may seem reasonable at a glance, but can be extremely unfair when stack sizes are imbalanced. Chip chops don't account for the payout structure and the money each player has already won. An ICM chop is more complicated to calculate, but takes price pool and payout structure into account. It aims to determine the theoretical cash value of a chip stack with more accuracy. This prevents chip leaders from winning more than the first place prize and short stacks from winning less than the current payout. When negotiating, explain why the agreement doesn't work for you and why your alternative is better. Be sure to anchor any offers with something higher than what you expect to get. This is cliche, but it works, even when people are aware that it's happening. It works best when put in a range, like, I'll take a deal that gives me something between six and eight thousand dollars. Use cooperative language with first-person plural pronouns, we can figure something out, and let's do this, are better than I want this, or your idea doesn't work. Avoid weak language and be confident in your requests. What may seem like humility to you can come off as having ulterior motives. There's no reason to feel guilty or sheepish about getting your fair share. To reach the final table more consistently, there's no better place to work on your game than UpswingPoker.com. Get in the lab today.